Hey up, how we doing? You're right. Right, we are in the middle of a really hot heat wave. I guess the clue's in the name. Um, oh, it's been boiling, and to be honest, I've not wanted to sit over a boiler for five hours. So, bought a kit to chuck on. We've just coming out of lockdown. We've just come out of lockdown. So I guess I'm gonna have some people over drinking some beer. I've got some on, but I need a quick fix. So, Hazy Zesty Fruity Hazy IPA from Munton's Flagship. 35 pints, approximately 5%. 27 quid, plus VAT, six quid delivery, 33 pound 50. What's in it? We'll have a quick look. Nice box. Yeah, right. USO4, two cans of art extract, instructions, some 28 grams of citra pellets, 28 grams of citra pellets. Thirty grams of mosaic. Another thirty grams of mosaic. A little lot bag. That's little, isn't it? Well, I've got some big ones. That's not. That's not going to be big enough, is it? Woo! Nah, it's not big enough. Right. I have done kit brews. I've got one up recently that Martha did. So, if you want to have a look out a brewer kit. Go back on a few videos and you'll see it. I've got a couple out and uh, we'll be back and see what it tastes like after it's done. Cheers. Welcome back. Right. Muntons Hazy IPA. Hello. Right, if you hear a buzz and I apologise, I've got a firm fridge behind you that's cold crashing a beer. And I've got one behind me that's conditioning a, a pilsner. So if you hear a bit of a buzzing, my apologies. I've got a mic facing forward, so I'm, we might get away with it. Right, this. Now, I don't know if on camera that just looks a little bit brown, like uh, it's maybe oxidised. But off camera, I can assure you, that is a bright old orange colour. I think, oh, it's all right, isn't it? Bright old orange colour, that is. It's hazy. It's definitely hazy. It's got a lovely head. <laughs> right. This, so USO4, USO4. I didn't take a gravity on this. As you've seen my kit brews before, I don't bother with gravit gravities on them unless I brew, you know, the only variable is going to be if I brew shorter or longer. It should be about right. What did it come in? Uh, it's supposed to be four and a half percent. I have no reason to disbelieve that. We had uh, 56 grams of citra, 28 grams of each, two lots of, that's a bit, a bit of a strange number, isn't it? And 60 grams of mosaic, which was 30 grams, two packs of 30 grams. Hazy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, that is really fruity, really, really tropical and citrusy and stone fruits and that is by far a million miles without doubt I have never had or brewed a kit beer as good as that that is exceptional you would never if you didn't know now they talk about this um twang don't they and I can taste it I can always I mean I brew mine with water bottled water 
Um, I did it again, but still mostly with kits. Even the premium kits, you still, you know, don't you? If you know, you know. And I always know, generally, apart from once when someone sent some, <laughs> I did a video on it, I was fooled, but when I've brewed a kit brew, I've always known, and it's always been there, and it's not been disguising it. We're different levels of how strong that twang is, but it's always there. Absolutely nothing. You would not know that wasn't an all grain brew. I promise you, that is absolutely crazy. That is unbelievable, fruity and tropical. It's just, seriously, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm going to stick my neck out here. In the village, we've just had a pub put on uh, some, it's a gamma ray, and what's the other one? From Beaver Town. Neck oil. Am I right? That is 5.50 a pint. Now that, in this sleepy little village, I know. And this, I'll tell you what, I'm not exaggerating. It's as fruity and as punchy as that. So 35 pints, I think I got a little bit over because I was a bit over. I wasn't a million miles out, but I got about 37 pints, I think. But I'm, I'm going on 35 pints. £33.50 with delivery it was. So how much is it? Right. £33.50 for the kit with delivery. I brewed with bottled water, so £4.80 I spent on water and I had a bit left over. So that makes it, give or take, one quid a pint. One pound a pint. I know you've got to buy a bucket and something to put it in, but again, you look at the kits, don't you? I mean, I used to spend like 12, 13 quid on a Cooper's one can kit and then a couple of quid on some Whatever I was going to sweeten it with, I usually use brewing, used to use brewing sugar instead of table sugar. You can use malt extract, can't you? But, you know, you, bottle of water, you go, mm, it's a bit more money, isn't it? The kit, £33.50 delivery, you know, it's, it's a bit on the higher end. But then when you actually break it down, taste that product, and give or take, it's about a quid every time I have one. It's a no-brainer again, isn't it? It's a no-brainer again. Right, I'm going to go and enjoy this. Like I said, I am stunned at the quality of that kit. That is incredibly amazing. Amazing. Go get one. See what you think. Cheers. Like, subscribe and hit the bell.